Hi guys, this is the uh, California fire update as best as I have been able to uh, research. I'm finding it very difficult to find information about what is happening in California with these fires. There doesn't seem to be a lot of current updates, certainly not from mainstream media, but I find it interesting and this is happening with every catastrophic weather event or the fires the same thing happens with drudge drudge will post for like one day and then suddenly where is it cnn botches another bombshell three big media screw ups in a week oh boy and trump unloads new apple campus cost more than 1.1 billion to build oh Really important, isn't it? Here, more Americans turning to witchcraft. Wow, interesting, isn't it? Participation in traditional religions declines. Winter storm hits northeast after record snow in deep south. Heard from a Georgia uh, a subscriber in Georgia. They got a foot of snow. Spoke to a friend in Maine, and they were getting snow. Oh, right. Uh... Let me just show you the artificial cloud substance on IntelliCast. They are hiding nothing. It is so clear that this is not Mother Nature, but the crazy uh, geoengineerists who are dumping chemicals and heavy metals down upon us. It's so obvious. You can see it right from here. You don't even have to zoom in, but why don't we zoom in? You can see all of these chemtrails, so toxic, it's unbelievable. God, it is just a toxic soup, a real toxic soup. But earlier, um, I came over here and the, yeah, real or Memorex? Look at this. All of the frequencies being used. Got ultra low frequencies in here. You got what the hell is that? Um, you know, the frequencies just carve away at the precipitation that you see on these satellites. And you can even, you can just see these uh, ultra low frequencies being set off here. Uh, in between Augusta and Portland, Maine. Look at this. Hiding nothing. Nothing. So, from what I heard uh, from my friend in Maine, they're only going to get... God, I can't remember what she said. I think three to four inches, she said. But these ultra-low frequencies that are just slicing away at the... Uh, precipitation. Here you got one coming out of Burlington, Vermont. I mean, every, every storm is just manipulated, modified, supercharged by our fabulous, oh, I don't know, six psychopaths behind the curtain pulling the levers on these storms. Um, and, um, well, what I refer to as a harp ring, not that it necessarily means that that harp ring is coming from uh, Alaska. There are many harp stations and many harp stations all over. But the satellite here on the West Coast, I mean, it's, it is a disgusting mess, right smack in our face. Nope, not Mother Nature. Why do I sound a little irritated? Because we have so many Americans who refuse to look at the truth, refuse to engage in reality. They live their delusional lives, and the result of that is an awful lot of people getting hurt, harmed, killed, even. All right, so 
Carpinteria. Uh, the Thomas Fire, 143,000 acres, 10% contained. This has been going on all week long, and it's only 10% contained. But what they said about Carpinteria is that there is a contingency plan. Oh, sorry, there's a contingency plan. Uh, the fire, the Thomas fire has not reached Carpinteria yet, and they have fire crews just standing on, you know, the line, just should it start creeping towards Carpinteria, they're ready for it. That's what they say. And I'm saying this because my subscriber is driving down to Carpinteria because that is where her family is. But in this news broadcast, they did mention that the Santa Ana winds have uh, died down. They've died down. Okay, so we had the Santa Ana winds all week long at 60, 80 miles per hour. And they should be able to start containing these fires, right? All right, I'm just going to link below uh, California fires enter the heart of Los Angeles. Uh, this is a broadcast in another country. I'm not sure, but some Middle Eastern country. The heart of Los Angeles? No. No. Uh, we would know that, right? Yeah. Okay. High poisonous carbon monoxide due to Southern California fires. You go on windy and you can see how much carbon monoxide there is. But it's good that most of it is blowing off the coast. But in this video, he does point out China has an awful lot of carbon monoxide where people just kind of live with it. China and India. California's avocado crops being destroyed by wildfires. California is the state where we get most of our fruits and veggies from. Why are people so happy about California burning up? You know, those uh, who don't like the quote-unquote libtards. When I read those comments, I think to myself, Jesus, they've got to be those who are paid to write those. Because please tell me we don't have Americans who are so in seventh grade that they write things like libtard um, need to point out, once again, California. I don't know of any other state that has more activists fighting all of the agendas that we are all having to suffer the consequences of California. So, uh... Yeah, that kind of thinking just is so unbelievably disturbing. There are so many great people in California. There are so many conservatives in California. For those, oh, you know, those God-fearing, believing, uh, saved by Jesus who leave their comments saying, oh, good homos, rich men, burn. Californians... California is the is the uh, number one state that ha hates God. So good for you, California, burn up. There are so many <laughs> who are, you know, normal people. So many subscribers of mine who are not any of what these people claim all Californians are. Oh, Christ, I don't want to get into that again. All right, so here, um, California fires. What is the ignition source of these fires? Good for you, uh, DIY camper. It's like they have. Now, I saw where somebody in California left a comment below a video that said these fires were started by a single campfire. Uh, I don't buy that because these fires are miles apart. So you can't tell me a campfire is going to burn the majority of the southern portion of the state when all these fires, six major fires burning in California as of today. How is it that we could have so few Americans that can actually think? Now, DIY camper can think. 
Yeah, one campfire started these fires when they stretch from Ventura down to San Diego. Okay. I also um God, did I speak to somebody or did I read an email from somebody today? I can't even remember, but they were talking about how, yeah, they were watching a local news broadcast and they were interviewing these people about the California fires and asking them, you know, how they could have started. And somebody said, well, uh, a homeless person could have started a fire. <laughs> Don't you love it? When there's no facts or evidence to back up those incriminating statements. But people just spew it out. The idiocy. I mean, think about it. Okay, a homeless person starts a fire, and that's why all of these fires started, again, stretching in all these separate areas from Ventura to San Diego. You got six or five major fires, and that was caused by a homeless person starting a fire or a campfire. Huh. The idiocy. How is it that these statements don't beg questions in everybody's minds? Did that person mean that there were five or six homeless people in those, you know, separate areas from Ventura to San Diego? They were all starting a campfire pretty much at the exact same time. Is that what happened in Northern California? I mean, Jesus, the script is pretty much the same. They all start at night, high winds. But, you know, you hear this reporting, and have you heard anybody talking about the causes of these fires? You know, that seems to be a little bit, mm, I don't know. Uh, not so important. I am going to recommend watching this video once again which I did on Kafka Winston World for the Northern California fires. Now I'm doing it for the Southern California fires. Agenda 21 plans to burn up Northern California, Deborah Tavares. She pretty much has said it flat out. They plan on uh, burning up Northern California. Jesus, we can't get through to our fellow Americans. So this isn't going to stop. This is just going to continue. It, the, the, the idiocy is just, uh, wow, right smack in our face. So yes, the first, the first um, fire-related death. Do you really think that it's only one? Well, obviously it's two, because I reported from an article that a motorist died like the first night of trying to get out of the fire and couldn't. So firefighters begin to turn the tide on Southern California wildfires. Good, good. And in this uh, news broadcast, he did say the Santa Ana winds have uh, died down. Very good, right? So, um, why then would Governor Jerry Brown, moonbeam bastard, just nut job, come out and say today that these fires are the new normal? Oh, I'm sure you know why he said that. Climate change, it's the new normal. My God, I look at that face and I, I, I just feel so sick to my stomach. These, these sick, sick, twisted, lying psychopaths, all about their own agenda. A communist destroying California, helping to destroy the United States. Somebody will come across this video and not understand that I have posted probably close to, I don't know, 7,500 videos based on all of the research that I have done on on so many agendas that are occurring now, now, so obvious, but started six years ago. And they'll just listen to this one video and go, oh my God, she's crazy. She needs her meds. God, between the immature adult population 
and these crazy, unbelievably. Well, I'm trying to curb my cursing. So, Jerry Brown stated today that gusty winds and low humidity are continuing. And yeah, he even stated, you ready? Firefighting at Christmas may become normal in California. Firefighting at Christmas? Firefighting at Christmas. Hmm. So, is he suggesting that these fires are going to continue, or do you have more coming? More coming. Mainstream media early on started reporting that these fires were caused by the high winds, by Santa Ana winds. Yeah, winds cause fires. Um, you know, even as you read these articles, it, it is just astounding that Americans are reading them and not picking up all of th this craziness. Now, I read on a mainstream media article just, I don't know, two hours ago, that it was 459 homes destroyed. Here is what the uh, um, Sacramento Bee they're reporting that 800 homes have been destroyed. 800 homes and other buildings killed dozens, no, about 60 horses, forced more than 200,000 people to flee the flames. So is it 800 or 459? Is it 300,000? Is it 200,000? Is it 199,000? But, um, Brown said he had witnessed the vagaries of the wind that had destroyed some houses and left others standing <laughs> and expressed concern for those who lost everything. Yeah, maybe an official had to come out and say the vagaries of the wind destroyed some houses and left others standing. Hmm. Now, I'm not going to say definitively that they have been using directed energy weapons. I do think that when your government and military have these weapons, you cannot ignore the possibility of that being a cause. You have to factor that in. But these fires have been very, very unusual. And as I say unusual, I'm reminded of a video that was sent to me, and i got to pause you to get that video. Here is the video. I will link to it below. John Lord, firefighter, talking about the fires. Now, on Kafka Winston World, I recommended that you listen to John Lord, who was interviewed by A Plain Truth um, about the Northern California fires. So in this interview, he is talking about both fires, but Southern California. And uh, John Lord is or was a firefighter. Um, so he's, he's speaking from experience, but he's also someone uh, quite awake to the agendas, Agenda 21, 2030, the chemtrailing, all of it. So I hope that you listen to this and, and circulate it. But when you read these papers, when you read these publications, it is frightening when you come upon, you know, well, let's see. The military provided C-130 planes for firefighting. More than 290 fire engines came from Montana, Utah, New Mexico, Idaho, Arizona, Oregon, Nevada. But when flames met ferocious winds, crews were largely powerless to stop them. Even fire attacking aircraft were helpless, excuse me, while being grounded at times because of night, because of night, night. 
You can't fly aircraft at night. See, they don't put an and in this. So they were grounded at times because of night, high winds, or smoke. So the winds were that intense that we couldn't even have our military flying? Really? Well, we know that they're doing this purposely, and we know that when fires rage and take out so many homes and everything over a week long, and they only have that fire 10% contained, we know what's going on. the deliberate destruction brought about to implement Agenda 2030 in the Southern California mega region. Um, and I spotted other, you know, ridiculous statements in these articles. I mean, it's... So, um, with Jerry Brown talking about these fires and then actually did say uh, new normal and we are going to be fighting fires at Christmas well um, yeah more and more of this is going to continue more and more of this is going to continue when you have so many people who really kind of look up to these sick, twisted bastards, what do you do? You can't do anything. I mean, what sometimes when I'm doing videos, just like right now, I have this image of all Californians going to their state house and just grabbing this guy and flinging, flinging him out the door. and not looking back. Hmm. I mean, that's what sane, healthy people would do to somebody who is so sick and twisted and clearly is part of the destruction, the destruction of people's lives that he claims to really care about. It makes me sick to my stomach. So this is um, a site that, this is the only thing that I found that gives some uh, updated information on the Thomas fire, the list of evacuations, school and road closures. What is good is that I did find out, um, well, where to go. All right. That article was clearly um, taken off that page refreshed I don't know um, but it did say that the calls for evacuations of Carpinteria have been reduced there are no mandatory evacuations they still have some voluntary uh, evacuations but due to the winds calming down, they have lifted the mandatory, which is good news. Good news for all of you who live in that area. Good news for my subscriber who has family in that area. That's why I wanted to report that. But here, they do still have some uh, mandatory evacuations, and they give the roads, the neighborhoods, where they are, but there's far less now. All mandatory evacuation orders have been lifted in the city of Santa Paula, so clearly they are getting these fires under control, which is really good news. So as they bring them under control, you've got your fucking governor out there claiming it's the new normal because of climate change. <laughs> and then all you would need 
is for all of the Californians that have chosen willful ignorance to give it up and do some research. Look up in the sky. Stop deluding themselves and begin to embrace reality, however dark it is. Because if they don't, it will only get darker. I will link below to all of this, to all of the articles, to all of the videos. So far, I have only heard one subscriber having lost everything and haven't heard from some subscribers who left comments underneath the first two videos that I posted have not heard back from them would love to but I hope to God that in in terms of my my subscribers nobody else has to suffer any of these consequences whether to them directly personally or to any of their family and yeah isn't this time just unbelievably heartbreaking.